Welcome to a lecture 2 of Lean Manufacturing. So today we are going to discuss what was the origin of Lean Manufacturing from where it was started. As you already know, there we have faced a World War 1 and a World War 2. So during the World War 2, Japan was in trouble. After having the World War 2, they were in trouble to how to reestablish their industries. So the manufacturing in Japan, they were looking mainly to recreate the industry. Taichi Ono was given the task of managing the production of Toyota. And he used the problem of shortage of space and capital along with the threat of foreign competition to create a TPS which is called as a Toyota production system. Why? Because when there was the World War II, it was Japan was fully in trouble. The space, the land, they were distorted. So the Taichi Ono, based on the space which were not been disturbed, he wanted to use the space to make an effective system which is called as a TPS, Toyota Production System. So coming to a Toyota family, from where this family was built, what are the family behind this picture who created this TPS? So it was a first family member by a name of Shakchi Toyota. What he observed when he was small, he was, he was showing his mother. That mother was working on the manual loom process for weaving of the threads. But as he grew more and more, then he decided, he, he started coming to think that, that why can't I create the manual process into an automation process. So you can see in my PPT, the manual process, right, the right hand side from the bottom, he taken this as an input. He taught into mind what I can make the changes. Considering all this parameter, he transferred from the manual process to an automatic process, which you can see in the top of side. So this machine was built across the system. Okay. So as you can see, he saw his mother and other woman using the manual looms. He developed the automatic loom to relieve the efforts of the women weavers. He started the Toyota automatic loom works. He focused on the need to solve a specific problems. He was abased with the continually improving the design to make loom easier to use. But not, it was not only the full stop over there. The spread of the message of transferring from the manual to automation was carried to the further generation. So the Sachi Sen, which is Kichiro Toyota, he started to make the automobile as one of the division of the Toyota automatic loom work. He was the one who bring this concept of working on the automobile parts. So this actually was working on the loom, manual loom part, but then he using those concepts, he wanted to make it this use into the automobile. So Kichri Toyota visited the US to learn about the car manufacturing. So he was not having any of the concept, any of the knowledge how the automobile industry works. So before establishing this unit under the name of Toyota Automatic Loom Work, he visited US, America. He learned the steps, the methodology which was going at the America. So most of the early idea came from the frauds and from observing the supermarkets. When Kichiro returned to Japan, he realized that he had the constraints of capital and land. Okay. So what he did after that? After giving an overview from the America, what he did it. So definitely, whenever we want to implement any system, it's not the one individual work. It's a collective team work. So what he decided that he won't be able to do this alone. So he hired Taichi Ono and gave him the charge of developing the manufacturing system that would become the Toyota production system which will be called as a TPS in future. So the TPS was on a solution to Toyota problem. Bringing machine close to each other and using general purpose machine. This was the first concept. Why he bring all the machine at one place to make the effective use of space, the available capital. Okay. But he wanted to use the same machine for general purpose. For example, he, he was having one machine. From the same machine, he wanted to make it used at a different, for the different parts. I mean, one machine is able to produce part one, the other part two, the other part three. So one machine was having a capacity or the tendency to produce three different types of parts. 
Thirdly, in order to be able to overcome the shortcoming of the last capital, Toyota invested in its people. This is evident at Toyota even today. You will find that the people are working over there. It's not only the automation is working over there. It's the people who is driving the automation. Hence, for, from the 1950s to the present, Toyota has grown to become the largest global producer of the automobiles, refining and evolving the TPS system. I hope it's clear to you, friends. But you can see towards the right hand side at the bumper, I have shown a house like structure which is a TPS system. This TPS system was built by using two other techniques. The one is a just in time, the other is a judoka. These two together, along with the standardized work, the stability were forming a house which is called as a TPS. I am going to touch this in detail in the upcoming lectures. Okay? I hope it's clear. Thank you. Please follow me on below links to get more details, which is Instagram, LinkedIn and YouTube. Take care.